You're probably like, Alaska, why are you dressed as a mayor right now? That's because today I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel called the Town Series. So a bunch of you guys have been begging me to start my own town series and that is exactly what we're going to be doing. But not only this, if you guys comment what building I should add to my town, I will actually invite you onto the game to help me build it. So if you guys want to potentially help me build in my town, all you have to do is comment what building I should add to my town with your Roblox username and I may potentially have you on the video. And all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. So before we get started, what's my town name going to be? My town name is going to be, drumroll please, Salem Side. And this town name was inspired by Atlas Slay. <laughs> what is this profile picture? Also, I love how I attempted to screenshot the photo. It literally just said Salem S. And not only this, there's also going to be two sides to this town. And the second part's going to be called Samira Street. Yes, I'm naming my town after my cats. Anyway, as you can see behind me, we literally have an empty plot to work with. It, right now, it's given ghost town. So the first thing I want to work on this episode is adding the roads and like the structure. Okay, how big should the road be? I'm thinking four. Like four blocks. That's big enough for like a road, right? I just thought of something, guys. <laughs> What if I have like a lazy river in the middle of my town? I don't know how I'm going to make this work, but you know what? We'll make it work. Also, if you're wondering what these crosses are in my plot, it's how I dictate where the middle of my plot is. Okay, how do we make a bridge? I feel like we need a ramp, obviously. Okay, how do you make a bridge? <laughs> Guys, I promise I know what I'm doing. What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing! You know how like every town has a signature piece? For example, Sydney has the Sydney Opera House. Paris has the Eiffel Tower. What is Salem side gonna have? I feel like it needs a big statue. We'll, do, we'll figure something out. Okay, so I'm thinking we can divide this town into two sections. This section can be Salem side and this section can be Samira Street. Okay, this is gonna be the river. This is all gonna be made out of water, by the way. It's gonna be very expensive and kind of gonna go poor, but it's okay. All right, are you ready for this? This is all gonna be one big pool. I don't know how much this is gonna be. Imagine if I use the most expensive pool. How much would this be? Let's have a look. Oh, it's still going. It's it's still going. Only like 268,000. You know, we're just going to use the shallow pool because it's all be poor. Oh, and we can't forget underneath the bridge as well. All right, one last section. Boom. Okay, so I think we've got all the lazy river done. As you can see, we can't add a pool at the end, which kind of looks a little bit silly. So what we're going to do is just place a wall here like this. Paint it black like my soul and go in with some grand hedges, some of these archways. <laughs> Why does that look like an emo McDonald's sign? This is not face. I am Ronald McDonald. And I mean, as you can see, it kind of looks like the river is just extending back here instead of just complete emptiness. So yeah, that definitely looked a little bit better. I remember when I first started playing Bloxburg, I always wanted to make a town. So the fact that I'm doing it now is kind of fun. And we're also going to add a footpath going along the lake just in case people want to have a nice stroll. I'm actually so excited to see what ideas you come up with. And I think it's going to be super fun. The fact that I can like invite you guys on to actually help me build the town because this isn't just my town. This is our town. You know when you're watching a show that's kind of like based in a town? For example, they've got like Riverdale, they've got Pretty Little Liars. Salem Side's gonna be all of them, okay? Oh my gosh, you know what would be really cute actually? If I added like little cafes by the lake, that would be a pretty cute view. All right, I think that is it for the lake in the footpath. That is looking good, hold up. Now you're probably confused what's going on back here. So what we're gonna do is make Samira Street on the second story. So it's gonna be pretty big. Now we need to figure out where the building's gonna go. And I feel like the first building should be here. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be yet but we'll figure it out or you guys will figure it out the thing with building a town it's like you don't know how big the building should be because you don't know what building it's gonna be yet or we could even have some like townhouses here that would be kind of sick and then we can have some buildings over here so these street signs are gonna have to move i feel like we should work on the grand hedge oh yeah i figured out we're gonna have two fancy pillars like as soon as you walk into the town and obviously we'll need a floating basic shape to make the poster stand up and then we can put salem side on the top another thing we can do to make the sign stand out more is add some lights on the top. Wait, why have I never added these before? I love them. And as you can see, if I turn it to nighttime, it like lightens up the poster. As you can see, the poster's kind of floating. It's Harry Potter right now. It's floating in the air. You're a wizard, Harry. So what we're going to do is add some chains to the pillars. Oh my gosh, guys, hopefully my car will be able to fit through that. I love how Salem's eyes are just staring at me. Okay, and then finally we need a gate. Oh, a big Titan fence. Yes, ma'am. <gasps> Should we use this as our driveway? You know what? We're going to have a gold fence. I just realized I don't even know the aesthetic for this town. Like, I don't know if we're going for like a fancy town, a New York town. Right now it's given Shrek. And a few things we need at the front is, oh, you guessed it, Alaska Violet security guard at the front of my town. Is your Bloxburg house feeling unsafe? Scared of true? 
intruder is gonna come in and steal your stuff then feel no more alaska violet security is here and there we go i feel like that is a pretty secure entryway now we just need to finish up these roads i just realized we should probably add some parking spots for like all my town visitors because like where are they gonna park or unless we have underground parking that would be kind of cool this can be like one big basement actually we'll have it here so then like as soon as you drive in you can go underground remember the first thing i built in bloxburg was actually a city so this is gonna be some flashbacks i still actually have my city she's she's thriving she's doing amazing if you guys would actually like to see me work on my city again definitely let me know okay i feel like that's a good underground parking spot okay and i guess we can have another shop here that is the weirdest layout but <laughs> oh well oh maybe at the end here we can have like a big roundabout oh my gosh i am so awful at doing roundabouts please do not judge me wait 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 i think i've got it wait is that a roundabout <laughs> um and i feel like i should leave this section as like the park because you know how new york has i'm trying to think of the word what's it called with the trees new york green area with trees oh that was a really good description yeah what is this part of new york called like um um oh i'm going crazy it's called Ugh. central park yes okay new york has central park so i'm gonna leave this section as like a massive park area and then we'll just make this back bit another building okay so i think that's all the roads done now we actually have to fill them in which is the fun bit i want to make sure these roads are like very detailed as well i don't want like boring black concrete roads no ma'am we are going to paint them we're going to use classic carpet in black i don't know why but that just looks like a more detailed road to me and then we need some lines in the road and then you just paint the middle bit yellow and it kind of creates a cute little road okay and then for the round about what we're gonna do is use a roof and put like a roof in the middle why does that look like among us the among, among us potion, potion from the from dark, the dark web. web oh my god did you guys ever have like an among us phase i did back in like 2020 me and my friends would always play among us it was actually kind of fun for our footpath again we're going to be using a flat roof the reason i use flat roofs is because you can actually lift them up and it gives it a little bit more detail and oh, i love me some detail in my roads like all you do is like lift it up the slightest like this and boom you've got a nice detailed footpath path so for the crosswalk we're just gonna use carpets because you know you can't forget about the good old pedestrians crossing the road wait where should my crosswalk be i don't know how road works <laughs> i don't know how road work road work road road okay what i love when english oh i hate roundabouts i don't know if you guys drive but roundabouts be spooky i remember i was driving once and this person didn't put their indicator on and they just came out of nowhere like boom surprise and i'm like <gasps> so yeah i hate driving it stresses me out now we need to add our favorite thing aka traffic lights okay we'll have a traffic light here because it is going to be pretty busy right there where are all the signs up in this place oh my god samir is crying my cat cries when i don't let her in my room and then when i let her in my room she cries to go back out and she does this like 10 times okay i'm pretty sure that's all the signs so we can fill this in now we have a little crosswalk sign there where our crosswalk is okay and now we're going to be adding some Oh, you know what would look really cool? If I had two exotic trees hanging on top of each other. So as soon as you walk in, you're like walking underneath the trees. Again, I don't even know what theme I'm going for with this town. It's currently giving Malibu. Oh, we can even put a few of these box hedges like on the crease of the footpath. Yeah, and now that I think of it, I should probably add a fence to my lake. I've already seen exactly what's going to happen. Someone's going to fall in and they're going to sue me. Don't sue Salem's side, okay? It's not Salem's fault. He's innocent. Oh yeah, okay. Adding a fence definitely made it a look a little bit more neater, if you will. But we're going to leave this section empty it's gonna be a little fishing spot in case people want to fish and i'm pretty sure i said this bit's gonna be my garden so we have a nice fancy waterfall you know i fell into one of these when i was a kid L don't talk about it okay not my proudest moment but yes i fell into a fountain i was trying to put a penny in and i just fell okay and as we're making this a park i feel like we should have some picnic tables cute little picnic basket this is actually making me want to go on a picnic and as you can see this park it's giving flat you basic giving boring so we're going to add a little bit of flavor a little bit of flavor love and add some trees oh my God, we can make these cherry blossoms by like painting them pink it's actually about to be spooky october season so you know what we can have these fall colored guys you know what i just realized this town series is going to be so cute during october like we can decorate the town so it's all like spooky and ready for halloween like that is everything why is that tree so creepy it looks like it's going to reach out and grab me okay i think that's enough trees we don't want to go overboard we're also going to add some street lights actually i'm going to make this nighttime so i can actually see what i'm doing oh we definitely need some lights by the roundabout and some street lights here and we can't forget the footpath as well and there's also these outdoor lamps so i'm going to add a few of these by the lake as well this town is looking so cute okay i think that is pretty cute if i say so myself okay and just like that i think salem side is all complete so now we can move on to the 
second part of the town, which is called Samira Street. Now, like we done on Salem side, we need to figure out the roads and how everything's going to run smoothly. Now, the first thing I want to do is have something grand and big. For example, we could have like a mayor's office or a school. Either way, it's going to be huge. It is going to take up majority of the space up here. So there can be our first building. Pretty big. We may need some parking spots up the top here as well. I'm trying to figure out where on earth these roads are going to go. <laughs> Half of the time I'm just sitting here like, uh, I reckon we'll definitely be able to fit another building here. We definitely need a building right here that's like overlooking the lake. That would be, oh, yes, ma'am. So we can have two buildings that way. I guess the last building we can fit along here. So now we just need to color in the roads. Why is this so fun? It feels like I'm painting right now. You know, one of those coloring books. That's kind of what it feels like. I just realized we also need to fix this bridge because right now it's not giving what it needs to give. We're just going to place a small hedge like this and then two archways and then to really make this like a bridge, obviously we need to have like a gate. Someone's going to drive up and just like fall into the lake. As in someone, I mean me. We're also going to copy the archway from the front and then add it up here because obviously when you're entering the bridge, you're entering Samira Street. So we can have the street sign. Oh, what's going on? So the street sign can go up here and I kind of want this to have like an arch, but I don't know how to do it. Maybe by adding some basic shapes. On this episode of Does Alaska Know What She's Doing? The answer is no. No, she does not. Y'all, if this works, call me a genius. Oh my gosh, that looks... <laughs> <laughs> okay, now finally we just need some fences on the road. I think we're just gonna use these stone railings because they're kind of fancy. Also, I don't want to add these street lights because they're too bulky. So we're just gonna copy these outdoor lamps. Who knew building a road in Bloxburg would be so fun? Okay, I'm pretty sure I said this was gonna be parking spots. So I'm pretty sure the parking spots only need to be like two blocks each. So something like that. Boom, boom chakalaka. Oh, and we can't forget to add a fence up here either. Can you imagine we forgot a fence? Uh, I was actually really close to doing like a Japanese inspired town. I'm just like obsessed with the way Japanese streets look. Uh, the thing is, I don't know if I should add a fence around like the border of my town. I feel like I should probably add a fence, right? I don't want this ugly Titan fence though, because um, gross. Instead, we're gonna use a nice brick post fence. Four thousand dollars, mate. I'm actually gonna go pull. I'm now entering my Alaska Violet broke era. I love the fact that I'm adding a fence, even though someone can literally just like jump over it. But you know, all right. And then the last fence goes right here, and boom. We've got a nice, secure looking town. The final thing I want to add to my town is a statue. An attempt to build a statue of my face. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but we're going to we're gonna try, okay? So first we need my head. People are going to get jump scared as soon as they walk in. It's like my skin color. I actually can't wait till summer. I can't wait till summer. It's currently winter right now. And I'm looking as pale as a ghost. Why is my neck so big? Noah Beck, what the heck? Why does everyone make fun of your neck? Okay, we've got my face. Now we need my glasses, obviously. I wouldn't be me without my glasses. Where is his glasses? I don't know if you guys know this, but when I hit 500k, a few of my friends threw me a party and they had statues of my head. And you know what? They actually done a really good job. So I'm going to try and copy them. Definitely not going to work, but this is going to flop so bad. <laughs> I'm already looking at it. It's just like, okay. Okay, I've got my glasses. And we need my luscious lips. What do my lips look like, actually? Look at me. Look, look at me, punk. Stop looking away from me. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Okay, what if we do my hair first? I've got some long blonde hair. This is genuinely the most confusing thing I've ever done in my life. Okay, clearly I cannot build a statue for the life of me. So <laughs> next episode, I'm going to get one of you guys to build my head statue because I cannot do it. I'm, I'm a fool. With that being said, first episode of my town series comes to an end. And I think we've got a pretty solid layout to go with. This is the layout if you guys would like to copy it yourselves. So yeah, I'm super excited to see how this town comes up. And the total plot value comes to $194,000. And that's just the outside. That's not even the building. So it's going to be one expensive town. Okay, so let's have a look at our town so far. As you can see, we've got a massive hedge. Welcome to Salem side. Okay, coming in. Oh yeah, you know what? These roads are pretty good. Solid roads. Oh, my face. <laughs> I love this little section here. Like the little bridge area. I think it's so cute. And then if we make our way over here, we have the park. I don't know what I should name this park. So if you have any suggestions, Common it. And then up here we have Samira Street. Speaking of Samira and Salem, they're literally fighting right now. I'm looking at them fighting. They're fighting over whose town's gonna be better. So yeah, Samira Street's pretty big. This, this focuses on more of like the larger buildings. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's first episode of my town series. Make sure to comment your suggestions below so we can start working on the first building of my town. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!